Hi, I'm Martinez. And I'm Kesner. Hello. This is my first rap. This is Carlos. And I have uh, injected him with physlogamine, which blocks the production of cholesterol, increasing available acetylcholine. <clears throat> this is my second rap, Tango. Is, uh, I have injected him with scopolamine, which blocks acetylcholine receptor sites, decreasing available acetylcholine. And this is my control group rap. This is Mohammed. I haven't injected him with anything. They have all been trained the same, have the same amount of hours on the maze. So, we'll see what the effects are now. Stay here. This is the first rat. This is Carlos. He has been injected with phystogamine, which blocks the production of cholesterol again, increasing available acetylcholine. So he should, in theory, be the quickest out. Oh, and there he goes. So this is our control group named, well, rat named Mohammed. He has but not been injected with anything, so his oxytocin, well, his acetylcholine levels should be pretty average. And he has, they have all been trained the same amount, so this should be the normal time it takes. As you can see, he's took the wrong turning already, backing up, and now he can smell the food. He can smell that from miles away. He's got there in the average time. Well done. Okay, well, we'll see here. This is my rat tango who has been injected with scopolamine, blocking the acetylcholine receptor sites, decreasing his available acetylcholine. By my calculations, he should make the most mistakes and he should take the longest. So, for you, we're going to go into rat cam now so you will see the decisions being made as they are. <laughs> okay, as you can see, he has got to it, so we will now exit Rat Cam. So, from my findings, we can see the results are Pet Tango with the scopolamine injections took the longest to finish the maze. Um, the pet Carlos has been found to exit the maze quickest with an injection of phystogamine. Uh, yeah, blocking the production of cholesterol. <laughs> and Alex was found to have Alex was found to have the average speed. Uh, this test shows how low acetylcholine affects memory reducing its efficiency, and how increased levels of acetylcholine improves memory. So acetylcholine plays an important role in creating memories and retrieval of information.